guys! Welcome to this month's Ipsy Bag. Sorry that this video is a little bit late. For some reason my Ipsy Bag got mailed out I think really late because usually it shows up a lot sooner. This is February's Ipsy Bag that I got in the mail. Let's just get into it. The bag is super cute because I haven't gotten that in a long long time. So I'm stoked about the bag. Inside are a few products. I don't really know how I feel about them. My makeup looks a little funny because I tried to stick to products that were in this bag for the most part. So you guys can kind of see how they look. So the first product is something that I haven't used properly in my hair, but it's in my hair. It's the Eva NYC Up All Night Volumizing Spray. The smell is really nice. It doesn't seem to hurt my hair in any way or have any weird texture to it. So basically I think you're supposed to just blow dry your hair and have this in it and it's supposed to volumize it. It smells really nice. It's not a terrible product. The only thing with this is I don't know how much I would use it because unless a product is taking care of my hair, I'm generally not going to put in the effort to use another product. I don't know, I guess we'll see, but not bad. Another product that I got is by this brand called Joyous. Studio, and it's a perfume. It's a mini rollerball. It just says number one perfume. I do not know if that is what they call it. The smell of it is in the beginning kind of nice. It's kind of like a soapy, clean, powder kind of smell, but there is an undertone of it like definitely being a perfume. It's very like strong and in your face, and that's kind of my one turn off with this product. It's a decent size for a sample. It's just, it's not, it's not a smell that I like because of that perfume undertone that is just super in your face. Next is an eyeshadow, which I'm currently wearing. I'm also wearing eyelid primer, however, so so the color is probably a lot stronger and brighter looking because of that. The brand is Rob Sheppy for Teeny Beauty. I have never heard of this. It's a powder eyeshadow and it's in the shade Pearl Fizz. So it's kind of like a super, super light, more of a gold, slightly almost peachy color. It's got decent pigmentation, like it, it comes off kind of nice. But I mean, I've seen cheaper eyeshadows for sure like that probably have better pigmentation. So that kind of sucks, but the packaging is cute. It's a nice color. Ipsy has been giving out a lot of these eyeshadows, I think though. Like I've definitely gotten this color before from Ipsy. Really did not need another of this color. So while it's not the worst product, not one I would purchase myself. And I feel like Ipsy, should have given a different color because then I probably would have liked it a little better. Next product, this is a brand, I don't know if it's brand new or if it just came out or sort of what's going on with it, but there's a lot of hype about it right now and it's Cargo Cosmetics. And so I got a lip gloss of it and it's in the shade, I'm probably saying this horribly wrong so I apologize, Anguilla. I think it's Anguilla, but it's this really, really light pink shade which looks like this. To be totally honest with you, I'm to I'm just, I'm not feeling the color. While it's a really pretty color inside of the packaging, on it looks a little bit funny. It's really pigmented, so the colors there doesn't look clear or anything like that. It's just, I don't see how this color would work for the majority of people. It looks sort of okay on me if I do a really light makeup look, but I feel like it depends on like the lighting. A lot of the time, it, it just would not look good on me. It's, if it was a little bit of a darker, pinker color, I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate it a lot more. I'm not a fan of really the brand, just because I don't really know it. It's not something that I prefer. And the color is, I'm sure I could mix it with other colors, but I mean, on its own, I just don't see it working for the majority of people, including myself. And then last product is my favorite product so far out of this bag. It's a blush by a brand called Model Co. And I got the shade Peach Bellini. There have been a lot of people I've noticed online comparing it to NARS blushes. The pigmentation is super, super good. You can build it up to be quite a lot. I kept it fairly light just because I felt like it would go better with the other products that I was trying to show you guys. It's a really pretty color. I feel like it would work for the majority of people. Model Co. is not a brand I've heard of. Not terrible, but I wish that I got at least one product that I knew the brand of, to be totally honest with you. Like, I like having products where I know the brand or I've heard of it. So, eh. I would rate this bag probably like at most a 3 out of 5. You guys can comment below and let me know what you would rate this bag out of 5. I might end up liking these products a little bit more. 
And so yeah, that was this February's Ipsy bag. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I have previous Ipsy bag unboxings and openings um, in a playlist on my channel, so you can check that out. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.